Hello, my name is Matthew Marcou. I'm the Associate Director of the Public Space Regulation Division of the District Department of Transportation. Today I'd like to introduce you to our short and sweet video on public space. We call it the Public Space 101. Public space is defined in DC code as the publicly owned property between the property lines on the streets of the District of Columbia. What that really means is that when you take the area from one property line to another, shown in our diagram using a double dashed line, which is very typical for site plans, the area between one property line and another is the street. So the street is actually a definition of public space from property line to property line. It's a very functional uh, and multifaceted use of land. It represents the most valuable asset owned by the citizens of the District of Columbia. And I'd like to talk to you today about some of the ways it's used, what we call its distribution, and a special area called the building restriction area. So, when we talk about the street, we have three distributions. We have the area that goes from curb to curb, which is called the roadway. The roadway is very functional. It's used primarily for transportation purposes, as we've noted here. The area inward from the curb toward the property line shown here in blue as a sidewalk line, is the sidewalk area. Now, there isn't always a paved sidewalk, but there is typically a sidewalk designation, designation for every street in the District of Columbia. And the sidewalk is a very functional piece of land. It's where street trees are located, traffic signs are located, street lights are located. It's also a very functional place for people to use to walk to and from properties and to and from the street. Oh, I made the mistake. To and from the roadway, see? should catch my own self when I'm teaching. So the area between the sidewalk and the property line is called the public parking line, uh, the public parking area. The public parking area is a green space. It's actually the largest connected park in the District of Columbia. And the term public parking comes from the 1800s and it refers to the type of thing we would think of as parkland or parks and recreation. So the public parking area is the area from the sidewalk, whether it's paved or not paved, to the private property line, and that's an area that's very uh, functional for the, pro the property owner themselves. There are a few property uses that can be made of this area. These things include something like building projections like bay windows or areaways. It also includes things like lead walks. Driveways will cross over from the roadway across the sidewalk, across the public parking, and should lead to a parking space on private property. And then you'll see that we've designated this special area inside of private property. This area is an area designated when there's a building restriction line. There isn't always a building restriction line, but when there is, it's important to know that it exists and how, how it's used. So the building restriction area is defined in DC code as the area between the property line and the building restriction line. So the area between the property line and the building restriction line is called the building restriction area. And that is an area that's private property, but it's to be treated as public space. And the way it's treated as public space is, it's very much treated as though it were public parking. So it's treated for the same purposes, so it's typically meant to be kept green, but you can have building projections from those that match the building projection code in DCMR Title 24, Chapter 12, Title 12, Chapter 32. Um, so that's what public space is and the different types of distributions that it has, the street, the roadway, the sidewalk, and the public parking area. If you'd like more information about public space and what public space is distributed at a particular location, you can always go online to TOPS, which is our online permitting system, at tops.ddot.dc.gov and click on the map tool. For more information about how to use our map tool, please see our short and sweet video on the map tool in TOPS. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.